Let's go to Proverbs 17 and 22. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. A merry heart doeth good like a good medicine, but a broken spirit drieth the bones. So let's go to the Expanded Bible. A happy heart is like good medicine, but a broken spirit drains your strength. So what does that mean? You have to change your heart. You have to change your attitude. What good is there to think about negative things? For instance, let's say that in the past, your dad or mom abused you in some type of way. So you are thinking about it. And you are thinking about it. More and more and more, you are constantly thinking about it, but you are surprised that you can't get happy. Or you are wondering why you can't get happy. You are thinking about negative things. Okay. Let's say this. When you think about positive things, what happens? Even when you have problems, it makes you happier. For instance, like when a baby is born, that makes you happy or some people happy. When you get extra money, that makes some people happy. When you see a friend that you have not seen in a very long time, or when you contemplate on that, that makes you happy. When you think about doing something that excites you, that is not sinful, that makes you happy. That makes you more happy. So, of course, when you think about bad things, of course, it is going to make you feel worse. That's common sense. So when you think about positive things, it is going to make you feel more happy. Sometimes we have to force ourselves to be happy. We have to force ourselves not to think about negative things. Does that make any sense? So force yourself happy. 99 to 98% of the time, I am content. I am not sad and depressed and down and stuff like that. Hold on. I am not down, sad, or depressed and stuff like that. Why? I could be because you may look at me and say, well, you know what? That person there don't have any problems because he seemed very happy, blah, blah, blah. Only if you knew. <laughs> I am dealing with so much. So much. <laughs> it is crazy crazy but I choose to think about positive things I don't really think too much about my problems every so often I may yes every so often but mainly that is why I said 98 to 99 percent I am always happy sometimes I think about my problems and you know, it may make me feel some type of way about it, but I mainly think about good things that are happening in this life. I have to. If I didn't, imagine if I thought about the bad things that are happening to me now. I would not have this YouTube channel. <laughs> I would be somewhere crying or mad at a person or something like that trying to get revenge or something like that you have to force yourself happy and the way that you can do that is by changing your heart your attitude and your thoughts a merry heart doeth good like a medicine 
but a broken spirit drieth the bones. This does not mean that you are not going to have problems because everyone is going to have problems. Everyone. But the thing about it, have a merry heart. Yes, I am going through problems. Yes, my mom and dad did whatever to me back in the past, but hey, I am going to move on and I am going to see the positive that is in my life. Everyone has problems. Everyone does. Everyone does. So shall we all get down and cry all day and, and all night and stuff like that? Shall we all do that? What kind of world would we be living in? It would be worse than what it is now. I used to be that way, all down and everything like that, but it made me feel worse. I don't like pain. <clears throat> I don't like discomfort. I don't. I'm sorry. You have to forgive and move on. This is why it is saying, a merry heart doeth good like medicine. So when you change your heart, when you choose to think about positive things, your life is going to change. You are going to feel better. Like I said many times already, if you choose to contemplate on the bad things that happen to you in life, of course, you are going to continue to feel the way that you feel. You can't say, well, if it was not for my dad or my, my mom or my cousin, my brother, so on and so on, I would not be this way. No, because another problem would come your way. So if it was not your brother, it would be your dad. If it was not your dad, it would be your mom. If it was not, if it is not your family members, it will be someone outside the family. Somebody or someone is going to betray you. So you can't put all the blame on this one person or these people. If it was not them, it would be other people. Does that make any sense? If it was not them, him or her, it would be someone else that does something wrong to you. So you can't escape it. You can't say, well, if it was not for these people, I would be happy. No, because you would have to deal with something else. So the problem is not your enemies or the people that did you wrong. The problem is you. It's you. It's you. You, 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 you. The problem is you because someone is always going to do what's wrong. It is just waiting to happen. If you believe that you can live this life and no one is going to do you wrong, <laughs> what is wrong up there? <laughs> I got to the point where whatever. I don't like being done wrong, but I am not going to hold it. I am not going to contemplate on it. I had to move on. I can think of things that happened to me in this year or yes, this year and last year. I don't have to dig back to things that happened to me when I was a child. I could dig up things this year and be all sad and depressed about it now. For what? Then I would say, well, if it was not for that person, I would be happy or I would be a better person. Take the responsibility. Because if you keep on passing the blame, you are not going to heal because you are placing the blame on someone else, giving you the excuse to be the way that you are. A merry heart doeth good like a medicine. You have to change your heart, your thoughts, 
And what else did I say? I forgot. <laughs> so your your heart, your thoughts, and your attitude. Does that make any sense? So the problem is really you. Because you are holding on when you should be letting go because I'm telling you. If it was not for that person or people, someone else will betray you. <laughs> we all have people that do us wrong. Everyone in this whole world. Show me one person that does not have an enemy. Show me. If there is a person, <laughs> let me shake their hand or something. But everyone has an enemy you have to let go if you don't let go and you die with this unforgiveness and this hatred and stuff like that do you believe that God is going to let you in heaven well God you know you saw when my mom and dad did this to me and yes I have unforgiveness and I hate them but they done me wrong, so <laughs> that gives me the right to hate them. So let me in heaven, God. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. You get the point. God bless.